Um, but like any other business, <clears throat> the experience you'll have in it is based on your own personal perspectives. The perspectives that you choose, um, your outlook, your overview. And uh, these are uh, kind of some of the things I like to talk about. And because everything comes from that. Everything in your career, the way you relate to another person in life, how you teach people, how you, um, how you treat your coworkers, how you, you, the relationship you have with your lovers, your family, your friends, the inspiration that's behind anything that you do creatively, which is virtually everything, is all based on the quality of the thoughts in your head. There's this incessant little voice inside of us that's constantly commenting on things. It's the voice in your head. It's our thoughts, you know? Can you, can you see what you're thinking? Can you identify with the quality of the thoughts you're thinking? Because the witnessing presence of the thought is not the thought. And when you're in that state of realizing, wow, that's a thought in my head that I'm thinking about why I can't do this or whatever, then you have the option of shifting your thought patterns. You're, then you have the option of saying, does this thought serve me? What, what, can I, what can I think that's a little more positive here? Because the secret is to reach for a, a higher quality thought. And only you can do that. Nobody else on the planet can do that for you. And as a matter of fact, if there's any freedom, one freedom that we really have, we like to think that every, you know, we have freedoms uh, in the world, but the one freedom that you really do have is the freedom to choose what thought you want to think about anything. And your exterior experience in the world is based on the quality of the interior. So, and the, but if you're not enjoying what you're doing right now, it's usually because you're stressing over what you're afraid is gonna happen. You keep that in mind, because that's what stress is. Stress is really just thoughts in your head about a fearful future that you don't know. Or thinking about stuff from the past that you believe was difficult. And you can find enjoyment in anything that you do. Even if you have a job right now that, you, that you're not happy with, you can actually, with the if you're able to see your own thoughts and ask yourself what the quality of them is, you can find, you can find, you can give attention to what you're doing in any line of work you're in. You just bring attention, your attention to it, and you just give it your full attention, and there's a quality that flows into even the simplest things, even the most mechanical things. But if you're doing it and then you're complaining in your head, you're just screwed. That's stress. And more and more every day, even the medical community is recognizing that stress is one of the biggest, if not, I mean, there's gonna come a time, I believe, where they're gonna realize that 100% of all medical issues relate, pertaining to stress or whatever is based on the thoughts in your head. Because your body corresponds, right? We were talking when you feel angry, it's in your body. So. Sorry, I digressed. How unlike me. <laughs> so, um...